Never underestimate the power of Alan! Uh what are we doing? Uh what are we doing? Okay, makes sense that their bot lane would arrive. So mid lane will be behind from that, right? I can't believe I just did that. Seem like my wave is pushing. The least in jungle. I guess I just got a base here. Since he could be top lane, I don't think he is, but he could be. Okay, this guy is a terrorist. This Sona is 100% a terrorist. Not sure if alpha or bad, but I respect it. Leeson could be top lane still, so like... Yeah, I still gotta play all the way back. Because if I die now on the pushing wave... Took quite a lot of damage to get this play off, but it's worth it in the end, I would say. To be honest, she kind of fucked up because there's no way I can actually freeze it. She could just wait. She never. She didn't need to enter the or like ward the brush. She could have just stayed back here. Wait, F? Am I lagging again? I don't understand why this guy chose this matchup twice in a row. I get that he has a Lee Sin to like set up him set him up for ganks, but such a nice matchup for Timo. Again he can hit six on this wave and then Lee Sin might be top lane. Better to just take the base. Not take any risks. Like right, if I stood here I would always be in danger of Lee Sin just jumping from over the there, there's no point in doing it. Dude, this Sona is a fucking psychopath. What? No! If I can get one more auto attack off and my shroom. Just one more auto attack. Fuck! Walking forwards, man. Alright, Jenna. Well, that happened. Yes. 
Game is going really wrong, really awry. We got so much. Ex Did I miss a plate as well? Oh my god, she's actually ahead of me in XP. When the fuck did that happen? risky here I would rather see her base okay what in the world is she doing though Too good. In. Oh, fuck, I actually die here. I thought that Sona would be there earlier. Might go Ludens this game. I think the Sona and the Lee Sin are equally trying to lose this game. I don't understand how you can pick a champion like Sona that auto wins by just grouping and building Moonstone and instead you go Shurelia and Perma Roam. Send this here or what? Didn't expect that. That is not worth it, I think. She's gonna die to listen. I mean, I'll start it by myself, I don't care. Fucking junglers. Can't really walk at them because I don't think he kills her. I don't know why she would step into the room that she saw, but her decision. What? He took the inner? What? 
What? I'm getting so confused. I could flash over and kill her, but... I'm not gonna risk it. It's like all of them are wind traders, I don't get it. Okay, they are diving apparently. I don't know, very difficult for me to go into the block. What a mess. What a mess, what a mess. What a mess, what a mess. Kinda wanna go death cap again. Kimo is a very fast baron taker. I fucking love building like this, man. I have to join this. I think this is Rengar's fight to 1v9, but... I have 1.1k LP. What the fuck is my dog doing? Fuck, she's not gonna walk like this. something wait why is my ignite not going off let's go what wait what killed them I keep thinking that I've got 16 room range. Ah, you like that? Knowing that my damage is enough to kill her, but she can't go. I guess it requires Sona to actually ult, but still. Okay, hello YouTube! Bursting was really fun against Camille. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Being allowed to build Death Cap just feels so nice. Because most of. Like, you can only build Death Cap against teams where 
you counter them anyways. Ah, oh, but being allowed to do it is so nice. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of the scout's code. Hut, code. Hut, hut, code. Hut, hut, two, three, scout's four. Code. Hut, hut, code. Hut, 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 two, three, <laughs> four. Yes, sir.